Locally, there is now somewhere other than a landfill for plastics that can't go in the recycling bin. Things like styrofoam takeout containers and chip bags. For years, those plastics were incinerated to make fuel. Today, used to make something else. 3 News Now reporter Aaron Hegarty explains. From this to this, last month, Omaha's recycling company First Star Fiber began production of plastic lumber made from plastics that can't be recycled otherwise, like styrofoam, straws, any plastic that can't go in the recycling bin. Once you have that bag full of those hard to recycle plastics, just throw it in with the rest of the recycling. Since this program launched in Omaha in 2016, these bags were sent to Kansas City to be turned into fuel for cement production but not anymore. In about a month, they've made more than 800 of these boards. They're a bit heavier than lumber made from trees, but they say it holds up much better. Plastic lumber from Omaha's orange bags are already out in the community. These benches outside of what will be the new youth detention facility, but these were made somewhere else before local production started. We're being pretty much a model for what the industry is looking to achieve. Omaha was one of the first to implement the orange bags. Dale Goobles is the president of First Star Fiber. Our belief is these materials are resources and if we can use them locally, it creates jobs. It uh, reduces the need for a landfill. So how's it done? After a machine opens the orange bags, first workers look for non-plastic items. Magnets pull out metals, some more sorting, then shredding and cleaning. At the end, the extruder melts the plastic and then injects it into the mold. Once it's cooled, the boards are removed and the edges sawed off. The orange bags are sold in grocery and some big box stores. Soon, they'll have a new name. They'll become the Renew bags this spring. All in an effort to give a more permanent use to those plastics we'd otherwise use just once. In Omaha, Aaron Higgerty, 3 News Now. Isn't that cool? The first couple thousand boards will be used by a local program where kids are building garden beds. But First Star Fiber says eventually these boards will be available for us to buy. Mayor Jean Stothert touched on recycling in her State of the City address last week. She said recycling in Omaha is up 31 percent since switching from bins to larger carts in late 2019. As for the orange bags, First Star Fiber says they've consistently received about 20 tons every month, though last month the total approached 30 tons.